Before we go any further in the world of talking about weight loss and weight management and health improvement, there is something that I just have got to get off my chest. Hi, I'm Rose McAvoy. I'm a health coach and creator of Plateful of Grace. So I don't have to tell you that there is a multi-billion dollar industry dedicated to helping people create the bodies that they want. For the most part, this is not a bad thing. People need ways to figure out how to take charge of their weight, to take back their bodies and get uh, to improve their health. However, there's another side to that. And there is a whole nother world that is dedicated to the wellness of your spirit, your mind, your heart. It's so important to nourish your spirit. It's so important to uh, take care of your mental and emotional health. These things are vital. But the problem is it becomes very easy for us to compartmentalize this work to say, okay, right now I'm gonna dedicate some time to working on my physical body. I'm gonna do exercise. And right now I'm going to spend some time working on cultivating uh, my spiritual life. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to pray. I'm going to journal. What I see the problem being is that we become very fragmented in what we're doing. And we've separated these exercises. We've separated our existence by having this divide in the world of wellness. Because the truth is, and this shouldn't come as a shock, we are, as humans, we are bodies with spirits. Some might say we are spirits with bodies. Doesn't matter how you look at it, the fact is we're the whole package people. We've got all the parts right inside of us and as long as we are here on this earth, it is vital that we take care of both our body and our spirit. And I think that the way to do that is to remove the divide, to bring spirituality to our work to our efforts of creating healthier bodies and to think about creating healthier bodies in the context of honoring our spirits. Uh, I happened to catch the tail end of a radio show last night where as they were wrapping up they read a little note from one of their regular listeners and um, this woman wrote in uh, and said something that I just thought was so lovely. A holy woman is whole and she incorporates grace, joy, and seeks that which is important eternally in behavior and faith. What this quote is doing so beautifully is reminding us that it's so important to consider that right here, right now on earth, we have an obligation to take care of what we've been given, that we have these bodies and that they were given to us as gifts to carry us through this life so that we can do the work that we need to do, learn the things that we need to learn, to have the relationships that we get to have and um, engage intimately with people both mentally, spiritually, and physically while we're here in these bodies. But it's also important to have that cultivation of faith, to consider the importance of our spirituality, to be looking beyond for what is going to lift us up now and carry us forward to when we don't have these bodies anymore. Because we are whole beings, it's essential to pursue wellness from a place of wholeness. I believe as a Christian that we were created in the image and likeness of God. And I think that it's really important, although it can be painful, to ask the hard question, would you treat God the way you treat yourself? And this can be a really devastating question, don't get me wrong, but I also think that it's really important because if the answer is you certainly wouldn't, then you need to think about the choices that you're making for your body so that you can bring those actions into line with 
honoring being created in the image and likeness of God. I also believe that God dwells within us. We are sacred spaces. And particularly, not just as a Christian, but as a Catholic, I believe that we are the living tabernacle of Christ. We have Christ within us in a very literal way. If we would be shocked to go somewhere and see the tabernacle in a place that's not very nicely kept, then we need to consider how shocking it is the way that we're treating ourselves when we're not doing what we need to do to take care of our own bodies. And I think about altar societies, how you have these groups that go out and they put fresh flowers and they iron the linens and they just make churches beautiful spaces to spend time. You can think about being your own altar society. Turn it into a joy and an honor to be beautifying this sacred space. How wonderful does that sound? What a gift that we have, that we get to do that. I'm not even gonna go into the food aspect of taking care of our bodies. That's gonna be a whole nother conversation that we can have down the road, but it's definitely a part of it. That nourishing of our bodies is part of treating ourselves like we're created in the image and likeness of God. So the behavior is a huge part but not divided from the faith that we have, from, from cultivating our spirituality. And there are wonderful ways that we can bring these together. I have clients who have decided to turn their daily walks into pilgrimages and over the course of several months have walked hundreds of miles. So they nourish their spirit while they're enjoying the process of strengthening their body of building up their physical being so that their spirit can dwell in a place that is stronger, in a place that is even more for the glory of God, so that they are even better equipped to go out into the world to use their gifts and become the person that they were divinely designed to be. It's so exciting to see the joy that comes from removing the divide and starting to pursue wellness from a place of wholeness. There's healing there, there's joy there, there's excitement. It's an incredible privilege to watch people rediscover their wholeness. I hope that this has given you some inspiration on ways that you can start to remove the divide and begin to pursue wellness from a place of wholeness. If you are inspired, I hope that you'll subscribe because there's so much more to talk about. I also hope that you'll share this video with anybody that you think could use encouragement in removing the divide and pursuing wellness from a place of wholeness. That's all for today, but come back real soon right here because we've got so much more to talk about and I am so excited to continue this journey with you. Mm -hmm.